coming at you once again live from the power of the internet. Today on our video, we've got a lot to talk about and not a lot of time to do it. So let's just start off the video with a new segment I'm going to call Geek Grabs. Whenever throughout the week I pick up something geeky, nerdy, you know, all around nerdtacular, I'm going to show it off to you guys. And this week I got three things to show you. Number one is this action figure of Harley Quinn. I'm a collector, um, as you can see, of all the stuff I have. And it was like seven bucks at FYE, got it. Even though it is ripped and torn, Harley Quinn is my favorite, so, you know, uh, gotta pick up my girl. Love Harley Quinn. Next up on our show off today will be these little babies. These are the Akatsuki rings from Naruto, and if you don't know who the Akatsuki are, they're going around trying to collect nine tails so they can recreate the ten tails beat you. I wear one a day since I've gotten it, and I've had it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. I'm wearing Kakazu's ring today. Only thing that's wrong with them, all the symbols are correct. Only thing that's wrong with them, though, is some of the colors are mixed up, and there's Pains, Kidons, Kodons, Kakazus, and Zetsus are the only ones that's mixed up. Everyone else's are fine. Got it off Amazon for like $9.47. It's really cheap, really cool. If you're into this kind of thing, the only one that doesn't fit my ring finger is Kisa Maze, and it fits my pinky though, so. You know, um, go pick them up if you're interested. Amazon, these right here. Next up on our list today for the Geek Grabs is a BMO Funko Pop. Got it from Hot Topic, so unless you're an emo kid who's dark, depressing, and goth, and all the other sad things in the world, you're not gonna find it. Unless you go to Amazon. Amazon might have it. Um, yeah, it was like 10 bucks, I think. These are, the Funko Pops are usually pretty cheap. But, I uh, guess the metallic version, Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, so, yeah, go to Hot Topic, pick up Bebo. They have lots of other exclusives, like a Harley Quinn that's the nurse. I don't want to carry it anymore, but I know they had it. Um, yeah, so, that was the Geek Grabs for this week. Um, we're just going to move on to the rest of the video now. In Super Smash Bros. news, we have Little Mac in his purple suit is now playable. It is an alternative costume, and it is the one that is seen in the trailer for Little Mac's unveiling, and as well as the original Punch-Out suit. Mega Man also has alternative costumes, being, I believe, Mega Man X or something. I've never played a Mega Man game, so I'm not too fluent on my Mega Man knowledge. Um, my Wii U, I am planning to play... Uh, Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U. However, I am getting a stall on my Wii U. I have applied it a couple places. I've put applications out. Hopefully, 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 hopefully getting a job. I will be getting my Wii U within the next month or two. I'm also going to be saving up for a cosplay I'm going to be doing. A friend and I, her name is Haley Havoc, we will be doing cosplay of Ren Okumura and Shime Moriyami from Blue Exorcist. I don't know if I pronounced her last name right. Probably didn't. But, you know, oh well. Deal with it. Uh, yeah, we'll be doing a group cosplay at Ichi Ichiban Con, which is in Concord, North Carolina. If you live in North Carolina, be sure to go check it out. I have already gotten information for ticket pricings, and we're going to have a great time. Yeah! Reminder for Loot Crate this month. It's Villains. Again, sign up for Loot Crate. It's going to be awesome this month. There is a t-shirt in it. I know that much. Um, it's in the email. It said, Why So Serious? So I guarantee you there will be Joker items. There will probably be Harley items. And if there's going to be a Marvel villain... I'm going to guess Loki or something like that, since he's one of the biggest Marvel villains right now. Um, now on to our bigger segments of the video for today. Um, super Secret Bases in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and Mega Flygon. Super Secret Bases are revealed to us through the Pokemon website, and I will put the link to the Pokemon website below. Um, I've already tried uploading this video today, but it said it was too long, so that's why I'm talking really fast, because I had a lot to talk about, and I need to get to talk about it. Talked about in a very short amount of time. So, Super Secret Bases are, uh, basically the returning of the Secret Bases from Ruby and Sapphire. And, um, it's a lot of information to go over, but the gist of it is, um, you can now make your own gym in the Secret Bases, and you can use, um... All sorts of decorations, plushes come back, and you can set the plushes in an eight pattern design. Um, trees are the secret bases in the walls and in the bushes again. Um, the guy who introduces it to you, his name is Ore, and the reason he, the reason Mega Flygon, I even consider this, is because of um, people are saying that since his only Pokemon is Flygon, it is his ace, and it is proven that you battle him. Mega Flygon is going to be a thing. However, on Aura, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Ore, Orang, Orang, 
Orain, if I'm wrong, forgive me, Orain's only Pokemon, only Pokemon is a Flygon. And it's kind of strange, because Flygon is delicate. Like, it's really delicate. Um, it's ground dragon typing. And, uh, personally, I don't think that Flygon's gonna get a Mega. He seems like one of those characters that's gonna be like Dexio, or, um, Trevor, or Tierno in the games. I mean, in X and Y, not even Professor Sycamore had Mega Evolution, and, you know, he was a main character, and you battled him, so I really do doubt Orain is going to get Mega Evolution. I really do. So, if Flygon lovers, I'm sorry, I don't believe Mega Flygon's coming. If it does come, though, hopefully it will change its typing to Bug Dragon. Yes, it gives it more weaknesses, but it fits its description a lot more. Next up, we're just going to slide on into Zelda with Midna, Agatha, and Lena's updates. Midna now has her gameplay trailer released, and it's pretty much what we all expected from Midna. She's going around with her hair, squishing everything like bugs. Um, and her special attack is the few shadows surround her body, and she turns into the giant spider and pretty much decimates everybody. Personal opinion, opinion I mean, yeah, I'm not surprised, and I'm not disappointed, but at the same time, I am disappointed, because I kind of wanted more from Midna. Midna's one of my favorite Zelda characters of all time. I will probably play as her, but not main as her. Um, next up is Agatha, and personally, I find Agatha completely ridiculous. I will not be playing as her. She, her, her whole attack center is around bugs, and her special attack is her growing giant golden butterfly wings and swooping down on- I mean, come on, guys. Really? Butterfly wings. You could have put Skull Kid as a playable character in this game, but no, you put the bug girl who's beating the shit out of everybody with a parasol. Come on, you need to fix this. Fix this. Switch it with another, a, a better character. Lena, however, I am very excited about. I am a fan of mages and elves and all sorts of stuff like that in video games, and she is a witch who looks to be using some sort of ice magic that makes blocks and stuff appear, and she uses a book, and she's fabulous. I am very excited about Lana, to say the least. She is the best out of the three, in my opinion. Agatha, I will not be playing as you. I am sorry, but I do not have any desire to play as Agatha. Midna, I will probably play as you, but I will not main as you. I look forward to playing as two characters, though, Zelda and Lana. Um, next up on our list is from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I know that there is some continuity between the comics and the Marvel Universe. However, it's kind of sad news, and this was brought to my attention by a friend, and it was, Loki will not be returning in any movies at all, ever, because Tom Hiddleston's uh, contract has run out, and he no longer wishes to reprise his role, which is honestly very sad. Um, if they get some other half-assed actor to play Loki, I will be very upset, because Tom Hiddleston is Loki. It's not this, to the same extent to uh, a bunch of the fangirls saying, well, no one can ever play the Joker again because Heath Ledger was the Joker. No, Jack Nicholson was the Joker. I'm sorry to tell you little fangirls that are 12, but Heath Ledger's Joker was a fucking god-awful Joker. They hate me for it, but I don't like him. I don't. Loki, however, Tom Hiddleston was the perfect Loki. Perfect. So... If they get someone to replace him and they're half-assed about it, I am going to be very upset. And I will probably not be watching the Marvel movies anymore. Speaking of Marvel movies, I am very excited about Guardians of the Galaxy. I look forward to seeing that movie this August. And I will probably not be able to see Transformers in theaters, guys. I am sorry. I was hoping to give you a review of my thoughts of the movie. I will do it probably after it comes out on DVD, though. Because, you know, why not? Um... That's really the, the big thing, the big chunk of the video that I got. Next up on our agenda today is a giveaway! And you're thinking, Adam, what the fuck are you doing? You've only got 20 subscribers. I'm like, well, if I want subscribers, I might as well just give some shit away. Maybe that'll make people like me more. And all you have to do to win this contest is in the comments below, leave a comment why you liked the video, why you watched it, and what you got out of the video. Leave me some soft thoughts. The one who leaves the best thought, in my opinion, and the best um, comment, in my opinion, will win my copy of God of War 1. I have got it. I went to GameStop hoping to get God of War 2, because that's the box it's in, and it's a special edition. And I open it and I say, hey, cool, special features on the disc. And I look over and I'm like, that's God of War 1. 
so, yeah, uh, two things will be included in this. It's not just this game and the special features. However, I will be also drawing a headshot of Loki for you in honor of Loki for being Loki. Because he's Loki. So, yeah. Um, if you want to participate in this contest to win my copy of God of War 1, if you so happen to have PS2 sitting at home, you know, I will pick the winner sometime this week. And in my next update video, I will announce the winner um, of the Loki headshot and God of War 1. Um, I know that I am talking really fast because I'm hoping to get into time constraints. Um, you know, remember guys, sign up for Loot Crate, stay tuned to my channel, like, subscribe, comment, do all the good stuff, stuff, bye!